For creating the ramps of the first floor, we can repeat the same process as we did with the ramps of the ground floor. So we can move to the top viewport, select these two curves that we used to create the ground floor ramps, and copy them up 3 meters, which is the height of the uh, ground floor. We type 3 and click to copy these curves. Now, the first floor is higher than the ground floor, so we'll need to stretch or scale these curves in order to change their inclination. So we will run the command, the scale 1D command. We make sure that the project OSAP is on, and from the start point to its end point, we'll make it measure 3.3 meters. Now, from the perspective, we can run the slab from curves command. We select the ramp style that we created before, and we can now select these two curves. Finally, we can insert a new slab directly from this uh, point. Now we can uncheck the project Osna point. and insert the slab. We can do some adjustments with the, with the walls around this slab. For example, we can see that this wall, if we see it from the top viewport, is not exactly in the right position. So we'll just move it. Now we need to put project OSNAP on back and we'll just move it along with the one below. Or we can just activate its control points and make it shorter. Also, in this case, we have this wall as a single wall, but we could split it in two in order to change the style of one of them. For example, we will go to the Visual Arc Edit Tools, run the Split Objects command, we will select Point option in the command line and split this wall from this point. Now we can actually select this one and change its style to Generic 200. Now I will shape these walls that perform as the ramp fence as we did with those from the ramp in the ground floor. So I will select the objects involved, this wall, this wall, these slabs, as well as the slabs below. This wall. and isolate them and we can work from the right viewport. The first thing we'll do now will be selecting this wall and extending it to uh, and reach the other wall. So we'll use the control points, this extension arrow to meet the other the other wall. Now we can start with this uh, wall we have in front. So I will draw first a, a curve that follows the inclination of the slab. I will rise it with a gumball 80 centimeters and I will draw some more curves to generate a closed polyline. I need to join it and now I realize that I forgot to enable the project as a point. So we may have picked uh, wrong points. So we need to make this planner and we can run the um, set point coordinates command to make this uh, curve planner. So we'll select the, the X axis only, OK, and just select a point to make it planner with. Now we can extrude this curve, just one meter is enough, and 
move it next to the wall that we want to subtract it with and run the subtraction command. Select this wall and finally this solid. We can already delete this curve. We move back to the right viewport and we repeat the same operation with the other uh, wall. So first we draw a polyline that goes from this point to this point. Actually I will enable the project OSNAP before repeat the same operation. I will move this curve 80 centimeters up and draw a polyline that follows this curve, intersects with the peer intersection of this curve with the slab, follows this way, and finally we close it. We need another polyline for the upper part, so we'll draw a line that goes from here to this point, and also make it high enough. Actually this one we can move it 10 centimeters up. We can select now the two curves, go to perspective, extrude them one meter would be enough again, and just move them next to the walls that we want to intersect with. which is actually the other one. There we go. We can move this to, we can change the display to ghosted. And now we can run the subtract solids. Just notice that uh, in this case we have this solid intersecting with this wall and the other wall. So we'll select both walls. So we run the subtract solids command, select these two walls and Select now the solids. We can already select these curves and delete them since we don't need any more. Also, we have here some columns that we can delete because we don't need them either.